Using animated scrolling text is a great way to capture your visitor's attention. And in this video, I'm going to show you a super simple way of how you can add that to your Squarespace website. First, we'll go into the edit mode and I'll add a new section here. When you click on the add block, you'll need to scroll down until you find an element titled scrolling. You can also type that into the search bar if you can't find it. So this is our scrolling block. To edit the content block further, you can click on the little pen icon here, which takes you to all the styling options. You'll notice we have two different tabs, so one is for content and one is for design. Under content, you can edit all of your text or icons that you want displayed. You can simply click on the element and write over it. If you want, you can add in little dividers with a dash or icon, or you can just simply leave it blank and have a white space separating your words. And you can also add different items. And to make the same divider, you can just duplicate the one that you already created. You can also attach a link to your scrolling block, which is a really awesome feature to have, for example, if you're using your scrolling block to, say, shop the new collection, then you can also attach a link that goes to your shop. Now let's explore the design options. So we have a variety of different styling available. And first we can start with wave intensity. So you can keep your scrolling block horizontal and straight, or you can add a wave to it. Apart from the wave intensity, so in height, you can also adjust the width of your wave. So you can make them very narrow or spread to the entire page. You can choose the style of your scrolling block from either your header or your paragraph. You can adjust the size of your text as well as the direction in which the text is scrolling. Next, you can play around with the speed of the scroll, so you can make it scroll a little bit slower or faster. And you can also opt in to have it pause on hover. So when your site is published and someone hovers over the text, the scrolling will stop so they can read whatever it says. Another option we have is we can make the edges fade like this. We can change the spacing between elements, as you can see here. And we can also add the background. Now the background will apply to our entire text block, so it's best used on a straight horizontal scroll. If you want, you can apply a stroke to your background and also round the edges to create a softer shape. Of course, you can also adjust the padding of your background so you can make it very narrow or very spacious, depending on your design. If you click on the three dots, you have a bit more custom options to adjust the spacings as well. And lastly, you have the option to adjust the background so you can make it blur. Now, depending on your style, if you have an image in the background, that can come really handy. Squarespace recently released this very awesome feature, which is a pin block. It's not specifically limited to scrolling blocks, um, but I just wanted to show you a few options of how you can use it for your scrolling block. When you hover over your block, you will see a pin icon here, which will create kind of a sticky pin and make your scrolling block fixed to the position you choose. So here you can see I pinned it to the center of my screen. The sticky position will hold until the end of my section. Under the scrolling block, I just placed random image blocks and as you are scrolling down the screen, you will see that our scrolling block is overlapping our images, creating an attention-grabbing banner. And below here, you can see a few different layouts where you can get some inspiration. 
And as always, if you have any questions, please just let me know down in the comments and I'll be happy to help. Have fun editing your site and I'll talk to you soon.